Hello viewers, listeners, have you seen today's headline? Let me read today's headline to you and you see what and the things happening in Nigeria. Buhari to meet another doctor. Senators clash over calls for Buhari's impeachment. Let's listen attentively and get things from these headlines and know what is actually happening in the country and what our governments are doing to us. Instead of saving our lives, look at the risk they are putting Nigerian citizens. The first headline says, Buhari to meet doctor in Paris on Saturday as, else become, as his health becomes in, in Korean. President Mondo Buhari will leave Nigeria on Saturday for an official trip to Paris, the France capital, to meet with his personal doctor. It was gathered that President Modibari would be in Paris for at least four days where he has also become or been scheduled to meet his doctor. President Modibari will be heading to Paris for four days. He was planning to go to Kampala, Uganda and travel to London, the United Kingdom, to see his doctor, but they opted to meet him in Paris. He will be traveling on Saturday, a top source disclosed this to Sahara reporters. President Modibuari had planned to attend the inauguration of Uganda's tight first dictator, Yuweri Museveni, and from there let him visit the UK for treatment, but the plan was later shaped and the decision to send Vice President Yemi Bajo to Uganda to represent Buhari was made at the last minute when it appeared that UK trip was not feasible. Top presidency sources revealed that President Modi Buhari's health, particularly his Dementia has allegedly regretly recently, and he was incoherent at the security chief's meeting in the last two weeks. That is the fourth headline. Second headline says, The second headline says. Hmm. Sorry, said Senators clash over calls for Buhari's impeachment. APC and PDP senators clash over calls for Buhari's impeachment. See details below. Senators Obiodu Olujim, PDP Ekiti, and Yusuf from APC Taraba. On Wednesday, disagreed over calls for the impeachment of President Muhammadu Buhari, the Major General, over his inability to deal with Buhari, uh, Nigerians' worsening insecurity. The opposition People's Democratic Party Senator, Senator at last week asked President Muhammadu Buhari to rise up to the occasion or risk legislative actions. However, their counterpart in the ruling for Progressive Congress dismissed such calls, insisting that the president was doing his best to tackle the situation. Olujimi PDP Ekete South urged our colleagues not to hesitate to opt for Buhari's impeachment whenever the need arose. She said, impeachment is not yet on the table. When it is on the table, then we would all look at it squarely in the face because it will have a serious problem like what we have in Nigeria. We need to also think seriously about the situation. The third headline says, Tinubu, a hypo hypocritic person for asking Nigerians to pray for President Modu Buhari. Renu Omokere, 
reports. Reno Mokri, a former aide to ex-president Gulob Jonathan, has criticized Bola Metinubu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, for asking Nigerians to pray for President Momodu Buhari. Reno Mokri described Bola Metinubu as a hypocrite, hypocritic for asking Nigerians to pray for Buhari. He was reacting to Buhari's Salah message where he urged Nigerians to put aside their political differences and pray for President Muhammadu Buhari. The former Lagos state governor had said that Nigerians should pray that God gives President Muhammadu Buhari strength and wisdom to protect Nigeria. The fourth headline says, Insecurity, governor, governors deviating from real matter. Udume, Udume reports, the former Senate leader, Senator Ali Undume, All Progressive Congress APC Bonus State, Bonus South, yesterday took a swipe at Southern governors for banning open grazing in the South. He also said as chief security officers of states that the governors should stop the blame game and get a work to resolve the insecurity in the country. And the mayor who noted that the insecurity problem in the country had nothing to do with open grazing of cattle, said that there were different security challenges associated with geopolitical zones of the country. The fifth headline says Boko Aram demand 28 million naira for 52 Adamawa captives. Boko Haram had demanded 28 million naira ransom for 52 persons they adopted from Kwari, a community in Ong, Ong Council area of, of Adamawa State. The insurgents who initially asked for the 30 million naira allowed a reduction of 2 million naira, which they described as a discount for the rural Kwapreo community. The insurgent stormed Kwapre last month, killing seven persons, seizing 52 others who are mostly women, and forcing, and forcing several others to fill the country, or the community, sorry to say. Little was heard of the 52 that the insurgent took away in the April night invasion until royal fathers disclosed to visiting government officials on Wednesday that the insurgent had asked for the and asked for and instead insisted on a collective ransom of 28 million naira. The fifth, the sixth news says, Gombe government to secure loan to fight erosion. Gombe State Deputy Governor Manasa Daniel has stated that the state government is considering taking a loan from the World Bank to address erosion, erosion problem in the Federal College of Education. He told a presidential visitation panel led by Professor Kenneth, who was in Gobe State as, on as, as for as assessment visits to the school yesterday, that though it is a federal establishment, the people of the state are major benefactors of the college. He received the presidential panel on behalf of the state government, Muhammad Inua Yahaya. Thank you, viewers for listening to this headline. So viewers, what is your take on each of the headlines that you just heard?